All right, hello grade six. Today I'm going to show you a video lesson and this lesson will not have any glitches, it won't have any delays. So finally you're going to see me without having my hands frozen or something's frozen and you're going, huh, what's going on? So this lesson is uh, specifically geared towards using a protractor, <clears throat> a ruler and a pencil. I have a pen there so that you can see it. And we are going to draw the um, angles that are acute. That'll be the first lesson. And then we are going to learn how to measure those angles. So let's just review a few things here. First of all, acute is an angle that's less than 90 degrees. 90 degrees being that kind of perpendicular straight angle. And I'm going to draw and, and show you because everything has to kind of reference that. And these particular angles will be the right to left angle. So let's get started. So I'm going to just put this pencil away because <clears throat> I'm going to use a pen so that you can more easily see it. Now, when we make our angles, you can use a ruler or you can use the flat side of the protractor. It really doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw my first line. I'm just going to draw right here an angle. Now remember these lines or these angles I should say are the right to left angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my 90 degree angle first by using this protractor and remember we're going to be using this bottom line here that's drawn on the protractor not the baseline. And then we are going to take the end of that line and make sure that it gets to what's called the vertex, which is the center of that line. So I'm just going to bring it in here and show you how I'm going to overlap. So make sure you look very carefully. You see how it overlaps and it's going to go to right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to see 90 on your protractor. All you really need to do is just put a little tick right there so that you can see the end of the 90 and then you're going to take your ruler, go to the end of this line, connect it to that tip. Now I'm not going to go all the way up to that line because I just want to show you the angle and I'll just stop about right here. So now we have our right angle going from, oh geez, I grabbed the, la the wrong sheet. Oh my goodness, already I'm recording this video and I'm sorry, this is the right to left. <laughs> Oh, I always love when I'm recording um, and then I make a mistake. Sorry, this is the left to right. So I'm going to just draw that angle again. Okay. And I'm going to show you once again, because we're going from left to right. So I'm going to line up this line, go to the vertex, put my little tick mark here, and then I'm going to just connect that vertex to that point that I made and just stop it a little bit short there. Now, because I made all the headlines on my uh, sheets here to teach you and I just grabbed the wrong one. So this is left to right. And to show that this is a right angle, we're going to just draw in our little square corner like that to show that it is a 90 degree angle. Now we're going to make some acute angles that are less than this. So what we can do is we can take our protractor or our ruler, doesn't really matter, and we're just going to make one over here. And we're going to make our straight line first at the bottom. Now to start off you, you can you can visualize to make your acute angle by just, you know, you can see that's less than 90, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can take your protractor and if you line up that line again and that vertex anywhere less than 90, and remember when you go from left to right you use the top numbers, so anywhere less than here is going to be an acute angle. You can pick any one. I'm just going to click here to the 40 and then I'm going to join that little tick there to the vertex. Try not to get too many shadows on this here. And then we are going to put this little line like that. And 
we're going to just write in here 40 with a little circle above it which means degrees so anytime you have that little circle I'm sure you've seen that with temperature before that just means degrees okay I'm gonna draw a couple more so let's just do a straight line like this okay now I'm going to line up that line to the line on the protractor not the base but the edge of it on the vertex and let's do a little tick maybe at 70 then I can connect that little tick to the vertex put my little circular line like that and that is 70 degrees okay now what I'm going to show you is sometimes you might have a line that looks like this so it's not perfectly flat like the ones that I have here so what you would need to do to make your acute angles you just have to kind of turn your paper so that it's kind of straight on so that you can see it and then we'll just line up our protractor again put it on the line match up the vertex let's do a real small acute angle let's maybe go to the 20 and then join up that little tick mark to the vertex put a little line here and that is a 20 degree left to right acute angle okay now what I want you to try and experiment with is just drawing an acute angle just by visualizing it so I'm just gonna maybe go like this and then like that I don't know the measurement yet but you can see that that is an acute angle so we're gonna measure that angle so what you need to do is get your protractor make sure that all your numbers are facing you because sometimes like if it's backwards it's gonna definitely give you the wrong answer so make sure it's facing you line up the bottom line of the protractor the corner of it the vertex match out right there and then oh geez look oh I already made a 40 degree angle like perfectly on 40 so you can see you follow that line I'm going from left to right my angle so I use the top numbers and it goes right to the 40 so then you would write in 40 degrees oh I really fluked that one let's draw another one let's come over here and maybe let's put sorry maybe in this corner here let's maybe do a line like this and maybe go like that so you can see that is obviously an acute angle well let's measure the degrees so line up your bottom line not the base of the protractor to the vertex now this one's a little bit more accurate so as you come in here and you follow that line you can see it's between 20 and 30 but it's in between and even because if you notice on your protractor you even have tiny tiny little ticks it counts for one so that's 25 that's 26 so my degrees of angle is 26 degrees all right so what you can always do with video lessons is pause it and try and do a version so you don't have to feel like you are uh, falling too far behind or if you don't understand you're embarrassed to ask me a question so in this particular lesson or exercise just simply try and draw your 90 degree angle and then make a series of acute angles and then maybe draw a few acute angles and then estimate or not estimate actually measure the, the degrees and write it in there okay so that is this lesson of how to draw and measure acute angles going from left to right and I will have other videos for the other ones for you to learn how to do that as well so I will uh, see you in a bit